Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. I want to talk to you kind of about reconciling, but more about what happens if you don't select something when you go to balance or reconcile your account. In this example, I've got my checking account. This is just the sample company for QuickBooks Online. The checking account had a starting balance of $5,000 and ending balance of $49.25. And the only two transactions that showed up on my make-believe statement are the $250 and the $175. I know that because I made the make-believe statement. I have been using this make-believe statement for years. I used this in a workshop that I used to teach. The numbers didn't change. It was just the dates that changed. So please ignore the fact that it says 2023 and it says April. But when you look at QuickBooks, it's not April. I just didn't feel like editing the PDF. So what I want you to see and imagine with me is you're working on a situation and you have these transactions and not all the transactions that are in your QuickBooks are on your statement. What are you going to do? Well, in this case, we have an example of something that is not on the statement and it's dated from a while ago. It's dated from a month before. Well, that's totally fine. Um, when we click finish now, that $300 will just roll forward and be there the next time. I want to show you what that looks like so that you know. Our statement ending date is February 15th. So I'm going to click on finish now and then I'm just going to make believe. So we'll say that the balance is $3,000 on March 15th. I don't know what it is. When I click on start reconciling this entry from back in January, it'll still appear. The reason that I'm showing you this is because I don't want you to look at this and think, oh, there's something that came, showed up on the cutoff date for my statement. What happens if I click finish now? Will QuickBooks know to present that to me later? And the answer is yes. QuickBooks will continuously present you this information until you click the little blue circle on the right hand side of your screen. So the good and the bad is that if the statement is printed out today, it, so it gets printed first thing in the morning, however the banks do it, I don't really know. And then later in the day, there's a charge or a, a deposit or something happens and it's not on your bank statement, but QuickBooks is like, oh, hey, your statement ending date is March 15th. I want you to know and to feel comfortable and to feel confident that that information will still show up in QuickBooks. It'll be on the next month's statement. And when you go to reconcile the following month, it'll be here waiting for you. Now, the opposite is true. That's the reassuring nothing is lost. Everything is good. The opposite, the thing I want you to remember is if you have things that you don't select, that never get a little tick mark. I want you to ask yourself, can I explain to the office dog or office cat why this is here? I could explain that this bill payment, this check never got cashed. If I knew that check got cashed, then I couldn't explain why this is still showing up in my records. That would mean there was a small problem between the chair and the keyboard and I just need to fix it. Okay. So really the point of this is just to reassure you and let you know that it's going to be okay if there's a transaction dated for the statement date, but it's not on the statement because QuickBooks will remember and present it to you next month when you go to reconcile the following month. If you have any questions, you want any clarification, or if there's anything you want to see me do a video on, just leave it down below in the comments and I'll get to it. Okay. Thanks. Bye.